Hello everyone. Welcome to this interesting tutorial on SQL clauses by Simply Code. In this session, we'll understand how various SQL queries are executed using different conditional statements and constraints. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further delay, let's get started with today's topic. Firstly, let us discuss the agenda for today's session. We'll start the tutorial by understanding what SQL clause is. Next, we'll go through different types of SQL clauses. And finally, we'll discuss about SQL where clause and execute MySQL workbench. What is SQL clause? SQL clause are basically inbuilt SQL functions that use a certain conditional expression which helps to access a particular set of records from the database table. Clauses help us to restrict and manage the data using valid constraints on the data in our database. Now, since we have large amounts of data stored in the database, we use clauses to query the table to get the desired data only. So the complexity is reduced when condition is applied to an SQL statement. SQL clauses use filters and analyzes the data quickly because it is used to extract only those records that fulfill the specified condition. Types of SQL clauses. SQL clauses are divided into three types. The first one is the basic clause which uses a condition. The second one is order by which is used to sort the data in tables in either ascending or descending order. And the last one is group by which is used for organizing similar data into groups. SQL where clause. SQL where clause is the most used and integral part of any query to specify a condition in the SQL statement which retrieves only those records which satisfy the given condition. The WHERE clause is not only used in the SELECT statement, but it is also used in the UPDATE, DELETE statement, etc. using logical and comparison operators like GREATER THAN, LESS THAN and EQUAL TO operators. Let us now look at the syntax of WHERE clause. The syntax is followed as SELECT COLUMN 1, COLUMN 2 and up to n number of columns from table name WHERE condition. Here COLUMN 1, COLUMN 2 represents the columns which we want to fetch the data from the table. And the condition here represents uh, the required condition to fetch rows based on the requirement. It contains column name, operator, user defined value. Comparison and logical operators are also used in this condition. So in this way, we can use where clause. Let us now execute some statement which uses where clause in MySQL Workbench. As you can see, the MySQL Workbench has started and before we write queries using a WHERE clause, we have to first create a table. So I have created a table here, employee, which has columns, employee ID, employee name, age, destination, date of birth, the city they belong to and their salary. And I've taken primary key here as employee ID because it uniquely identifies each and every record in the table. Now that we've created the table, let us now look at uh, the simple and basic query using the WHERE clause. Now let's say if I want to uh, display the details of all those employees who belong to the city Mumbai. So for that the following query would be select star from the table that is employee. Now we have to mention the condition that is the where clause where city is equals to Mumbai. Mention Mumbai in single quotes otherwise it will show an error. So let us now execute this statement and see the output. Now when we execute the statement, it will show me the output of two employees who belong to the city. So let us now take another example. Now we'll use the greater than operator using the where clause. Now let's say if I want to uh, display the details of all those employees whose salary is greater than 30,000. So for that, the following query would be select star from table that is employee where salary is greater than 30,000. So let us execute the statement. Now when we execute the statement, it will show me the records of all those employees who are having salary more than 30,000. Now I think here we have around uh, 15, since we have 15 uh, records in the table, we have a total of eight employees whose salary is more than 30,000. So in this way you can use a uh, greater than operator. Similarly, you can use the less than operator as well. And let us see the output whose salary is less than 35,000. We'll take 35,000 here and now see the output. So there are uh, total three employees who are having the salary less than 35,000. That is 
uh, Aryan Preeti Akil who are having salary as 30,000. So in this way, you can use less than operator as well. Now, let us make another scenario. Now, if I want to mention a range of salaries of how much they earn, let's say if I want to display the records of all those employees who are earning salary in between 35,000 and 50,000. So for that, the following query would be select star from the table that is employee where salary between is the keyword we have to use here thirty five thousand and fifty thousand. Let us now execute this statement and see the output. So now these are all the uh, records of the employees who are having salary in between thirty five thousand and fifteen thousand. So in this way, you can use uh, various comparison operators to perform uh, queries using where clause. Similarly, uh, you can also update the values in the table as well using the update command. Let's say if I want to update the salary of employee whose employee ID is uh, 104. So for that, the following query would be update table name that is employee set is the keyword we have to use here salary. Now I want to change the salary as uh, 25,000. So I'm choosing 25,000. Specify the condition where employee ID is equals to uh, 106. So let us execute this statement and see the output. So as you can see, our query successfully implemented and the employee who ID 106 who is having salary like before some, he used to have some salary now his salary is changed into 25,000 so let us see whether it is changed or not we'll uh, use the select command again to display the uh, details of all the employees so for that the query would be select star from the table that is employee let us now execute this statement so 106 uh, Employee name is Varsha, who is working as a software developer and uh, salary has been changed to 25,000. So in this way, you can use where clause to perform various operations using certain conditions. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Now that we have understood how to write a query using the WHERE condition, let us now look at some other conditional statements which uses WHERE clause. First, let us discuss about SQL AND condition. SQL AND condition is used to specify multiple conditions in WHERE clause. AND condition basically returns the rows or those values that satisfies both the conditions that are written after the WHERE clause. In simple terms, we can say that uh, it will only return those values when both the conditions are met. Let us now understand this with an example. Let's say if I want to access the records of all those employees whose designation is business analyst and their salary is 35,000. For that, the following query would be select star from the table that is employee where I'm specifying the condition here designation is equals to business analyst and is the keyword that we have to specify here salary is equals to 35,000 and let us execute the statement now so as you can see it is displaying the uh, records of two employees whose designation is business analyst and their salary is 35,000 but if you look at the uh, employee table carefully let me just display the values uh, there is the uh, employee id 101 who belongs to the de designation business analyst and uh, similarly we have another employee whose employee ID is 109 and whose employee ID is 111 here we have three records but instead it is displaying only three uh, two records that's because there's an employee id uh, 109 who's having who belongs to the designation business analyst but is having 40,000. So in this case, he is not meeting the other condition. That is why it is being displayed only two values. 
So in this way, you can use and statement to filter the records from the table. Let us now look at the next statement that is or. SQL or condition is used to specify again the same multiple conditions in where clause which is used to fetch the uh, rows or values which satisfy any of the condition. Now unlike uh, and statement if any of the condition that is provided is true then it will return all those values. So let me just uh, execute this with an uh, example. Let's say if I want to access the records of all those employees whose designation is manager and the city that they belong to is Chennai. So for that, I'll write the query as select star from the table that is employee where designation is equals to manager or the city that they belong to is Chennai. So let me just execute this statement and see the output. So when you execute this statement, it will uh, show a total of three records of all those employees whose designation is either manager or the city that they belong to is Chennai. Now we have uh, the records of employee who belongs to city, Bangalore, Indore as well. But it is showing here because the designation is manager. That is here it is satisfying either one of the condition that is either the designation that is manager or the city that they belong to is Chennai. So in this way, you can use or statement to filter the records. Next, let us discuss about the limit condition in SQL. The limit condition is used to fetch those records that have only limited number of, of values. Let's say if I want to access the records of first five employees from the table, then I'll write the following query as select star from the table that is employee. Now you have to mention the keyword limit. Now I want to access the records of first five employees. So I'm specifying five as the condition here. So let me execute this statement. So it will display the first five records of the employees from the employee table. Now this limit condition is used like when you have thousands of records in a table. And if you want to access the first hundred records of the employees, then you can use the limit condition here with the example. Next, let us discuss about SQL as condition statement. Now, SQL as condition is used to rename a column temporarily in a given table. Now, in simple words, we can say that SQL as keyword is used to give an alias name to the table or column name in the query. And in this way, we can increase the readability and understandability of the query and, call and also the column headings in the table. So let us understand with an example. Let's say if I want to change the column name of salary to the total salary, then I would write the following query as select salary as within the single quotes mention the new column name that is total salary from the table that is employed. So let us execute this statement and see the output. So as you can see, salary has been changed into a total salary. In this way, you can use the AND condition statement to change the column of the table temporarily. And finally, let us discuss the LIKE statement in SQL. The LIKE condition statement is used to fetch matching rows or values from the table that satisfies the wildcard operator. Now the wildcard operator in SQL uh, basically have two types. The first one is percentage sign. The percentage sign represents a single or multiple character. And the second one is underscore. Underscore represents a single number or character. Now you might be a bit confused here. So let me just explain with an example. Let's say if you want to access the records of all those employees whose name starts with K. So for that, I'll write the query as select star from the table that is employee. Now specify the condition where employee name like is the keyword we have to use here. And within the single quotes, now we are uh, displaying the records of employees whose name starts with K, right? So I'm taking K and mention the percentage symbol. So let us execute this statement and uh, see the output. So it will display the uh, details of all those employees whose name starts with K. 
So there are total uh, three employees in the table whose name starts with K here. Similarly, if you uh, want to display the records of those employees whose name ends with A. So for that, we have to mention percentage A. So let me just execute this statement and see the output. So it will display the values of all those employees whose uh, name is ending with the letter A. So there are total uh, five employees in the table whose name is ending with A. So in this way, you can use the like operator, which also uses the where clause. And with that, we have come to the end of today's session. So in this way, you can use various SQL clauses to query the tables in the database with a specific condition like a where clause. Thank you for watching the video guys. I hope you found this tutorial useful and informative. If you have any further questions regarding any of the topics covered in the tutorial, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.